Ich bin Eva Korda, und ich bin der After School Hub ist Mission Moonsor Klima. Heute werden wir Ingenieure sein und investigate die Stärke von Papier Let's go. So to start, all you need is paper, tape, scissors and some books. We are going to make a paper book tower experiment this week to see which shape and which height of paper is the strongest. So we'll fold paper into squares. So I'm going to fold it in half and then I'm going to fold that again. So I'm actually making a cuboid. So I'm going to fold it out this way. Here we are. And then I'm going to put some tape on it to try to hold it together. Now, so here is my cuboid of paper. I'm just going to tape it like that and see what works. Now, okay, so I've done my cuboid of paper. Next, I'm going to do my cylinder, so kind of circle. Oops nice and taut. There we go. So that is my uh, my cylinder done. And then finally, I'm going to make a prism. So I'm going to make a rectangular based prism. So I've got it folded in three parts. And all I do is I kind of make a triangular shape at the end of it. So now what I'm going to do next is I'm going to stand them up. We're going to add height, okay? So we're going to add another component and we're going to test the height of it as well. So I'm going to put a piece of paper on top and I'm going to put a book on it and see which one holds the best. Okay, you ready? Let's see this one. Okay, so that one isn't working. Let's try another one. Again, not happening. And this one, hey, that seems to be working, doesn't it? Let's see how many more books I can add on before it collapses. Let's see what's gonna happen. Is it gonna hold? It's kind of like Jenga. So you're just very carefully testing. Keep going. It looks like it's holding really well, doesn't it? We'll have to see now, because I have heavier books here now, so this could be it. Ooh! So yeah, <laughs> so that's it. Actually, to be fair, it held quite a lot. So the shape that worked the best, my cuboid didn't work at all. My rectangular base pyramid is somewhere on the ground, so that absolutely did not work, but my circular one did, okay? So my cylinder did work. Let's see if I cut this in half. So if it's only half the height, is that going to make a difference? So I'm just going to cut this, snip this right down the middle. Now, so I have two of them now. Okay, so let's see. So we're going to put them together and I'm going to put a sheet of paper over like I did before. Now, let's start. Hold on. Keep going. It's holding it. It's holding it. It's holding it. So I'm nearly out of all my little books, so let's see what happens. Ooh! So it didn't even hold all my little books. Now, what could be the problem? What could we do? Do you know what we could do? We could make four of them and see if that makes it any better, because we still haven't managed to make them stand. So I'm gonna do my normal cylinder again and then I'll cut it in half the way I did before. Tape there. Now if you don't have tape at home, you can use a bit of glue or whatever you have that might stick them together. So I'm gonna cut these in half once again. Oops. Now, so I'm gonna put four together now and see what happens. So I'm gonna put a piece of paper on top Okay, start with one book. Okay. Two books. Three books. Four books. Five books. Six books. 
Seven bucks. Okay, now these are the heavy ones. So I'm not too sure what's gonna happen here. And if, whoop, no. So I have one more idea. So we've tried four of them and four of them does seem to work quite well, I have to say. But maybe if we rolled the paper tighter, maybe that'll make a difference. So I'm just gonna pop those down there for the second. And I'm going to roll four of them a little bit tighter. And tap, tap, tap. So I'm gonna make four of these now. And of course, not forgetting my piece of paper on top. Okay, let's try one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, now here's the test, the heavy books. Eight. Nine. So what did we find? We found that the cylinders work well. They probably work the best, but only if they're rolled tightly enough so that there's a few layers of paper supporting the books. And we also, of course, used our lovely sheet of paper on top to make sure that the weight was distributed evenly and it kept the cylinders in place and stop them from wobbling a little bit more than they normally would have. And I hope you enjoy testing the strength of paper. Why not send us in your findings and any other tricks you come up with to support the books? So long. <laughs>